I'm back with the second part of the Writing in Science series. We are talking about what writing in science should look like and how it progresses through the years. In this episode, we're going to look at the middle school years and beyond. Hi, I'm Paige Hudson, author of the programs of Elemental Science. You're listening to the Tips for Homeschool Science show, where we are breaking down the lofty concepts in science into building blocks you can use in your homeschool. As I said in the first part of our series, my field of expertise lies firmly in science, but I wanted to share with you all what I have learned about writing as it pertains to science in my 10 plus years of homeschooling. If you want to hear about how I almost killed our daughter's love of science with my writing expectations and learn about the first three stages, check out episode number 12, which is the first part of this series. In this episode, we're going to tackle the stages of writing and science for the middle school years and beyond. Let's dig in. As your student matures, their writing and reading abilities increase. During these years, they are beginning to work independently. They will be doing most of their reading, but these students will still go through three stages of writing. I like to call these fact-finding, organizing, and summarizing. Your elementary student was like a bucket waiting to be filled with loads of facts. And now that student has matured into a smart, unorganized mess. Our goal during these years is to teach our kids how to organize what they know and what they learn so that they'll be able to apply that knowledge to create their own analysis of a subject in later years. In other words, middle school students are learning how to pick out what's important, how to organize that information, and how to apply that knowledge. Thankfully, these students are comfortable with the physical act of writing, although they may not like it very much. We don't have to worry as much about overloading them with the amount of writing, but rather we need to be cautious not to expect them to write a multi-paragraph summary from a selection before they have the skills to choose and organize the information into a cohesive composition. Again, just like in the elementary years, the main thing you're looking for is consistent progress year after year. You can still use notebooking for writing in science during these years, although it will look a bit different. The visual content, which was a simple picture in the elementary years, will mature into a labeled sketch on the subject. The material component, which was a simple narration, will mature into a more organized summary of the information that the student has learned. Let's look at the fourth stage of writing in science, fact-finding. During this stage, your students are learning how to pull out the key facts from a selection they have read. Discussion time with these students is critical because talking over the material before writing will help the students to pull out the most important information. In science, the students will read the selection on their own. Then you will have a time of discussion with them where you'll ask probing comprehension style questions. These will help to highlight the key facts that you want them to know from the material. After your discussion time, they will write a list of six to eight facts from what they have read on a piece of paper. At another time during the week, the students will label a simple sketch of the material. The sketch can be pre-drawn or the students can draw their own. As they become more confident with choosing out the key facts from a selection, you can move into stage five, which is organizing. Now that the students are comfortable with pulling out the key facts, they will work on organizing them into an outline. In science, the students will read a selection on their own. Then they will create an outline from what they read. In the beginning, this will be a simple, single, one-level outline with the key facts similar to what they produced in the previous stage. Their outlines will progress into multi-level outlines with the key facts and several supporting points underneath. You will still have a discussion time with them where you will ask those probing comprehension style questions. However, after your discussion times, the students will edit and adjust their outlines to include any key facts they may have missed, rather than writing something completely new. And they will continue to label those sketches just like they did in stage four. Once they're comfortable with creating multi-level outlines, you can move on to stage six, which is summarizing. In the fifth stage, students were working on getting their thoughts on paper in a more organized manner. Now, in the summarizing stage, they are learning how to write a connected, multi-paragraph summary on their own from what they've read. In science, these students will begin writing their own summaries from an outline. Once again, they will read a selection, outline the key points, and have a discussion time with you. Then, they will take this outline and type up a multi-paragraph summary of what they've read. 
they will also continue to label a sketch, just like they did in stage four. I prefer to have the students type their reports at this point, as it seems to make them more willing to do the actual work. As the students become more and more comfortable with this process, your discussion times will wane. By the time they leave your home, they will be able to read a selection, pull out the key facts, organize them, and write a summary on the subject without any outside help. As you take your students through the second three stages of fact-finding, organizing, and summarizing, remember that you're emphasizing consistent progress year after year. If you would like a more in-depth view of the progression of writing skills, I highly suggest you read the book The Complete Writer by Susan Wise Bauer. Thanks for listening to episode 13 of the Tips for Homeschool Science show. You can see today's show notes by clicking on the link below or by heading over to elementalscience.com, finding tips and clicking on videos. If you're listening to this show, would you leave us a rating or review? This will help other homeschoolers find and get our tips into their earbuds. If you're watching this show, would you scroll down and leave a comment and let me know any questions you still have about writing in science?